Today on the newscast, Hamas is building up a massive arsenal for use against Israel. Get all the breaking details coming up. Hey folks, Eric Stackelbeck here. Welcome to the Watchman Newscast. We've been talking so much over the past few weeks about the threat gathering to Israel's north. In particular, Hezbollah in southern Lebanon with their 150,000 at least rockets and missiles pointed at every inch of Israel. And also, next door in Syria, the Iranian regime, joined by Hezbollah and various radical Shia terror forces, also attempting to establish a beachhead on that Israel-Syria border right along Israel's Golan Heights. Folks, the north is a powder keg, and that's why we've told you many times that the Great Northern War is coming, pitting Iran and Hezbollah against Israel. It's a question not of if, but when. That's according to Israeli defense officials who I have interviewed for the Watchman TV show. So a major conflict is coming to the north, but we also have a serious threat looming to Israel south in Gaza, which is ruled with an iron fist by the terror group Hamas. Now, last week, an Israel Defense Forces senior commander released some stunning numbers in terms of Hamas and Palestinian Islamic Jihad, the other Iranian proxy operating there in Gaza, and their capabilities, the weapons they are amassing. Remember, folks, when this great northern war comes, Hamas will not remain silent. They will also throw their hats in the ring. They will open a southern front. You can bank on it and attempt to divert the Israel Defense Force's attention from the threat to the north and the battle that will be waged there. So what are Hamas's capabilities? Are they capable of really creating a genuine distraction. Well, we've seen several times over the past 12, 13 years that Hamas can create major problems for Israel. There have been several conflicts that have stretched out for days, even weeks, pitting Hamas and their rocket arsenal and their terror tunnels and their foot soldiers against Israel as Israel attempts to defend the citizens of southern Israel who are blanketed, barraged with rockets out of Gaza on a regular basis. But just so you know, the capabilities of Hamas and Palestinian Islamic Jihad and why this is such a serious threat, let's go to the numbers provided just a few days ago. This was largely overlooked, and that's why we do what we do here at the Watchman Newscast, to be watchmen on the wall for such a time as this for you and bring you the kind of information and analysis that you're just not hearing anywhere else, certainly not in the mainstream media. The senior commander from the Israel Defense Forces, I want to get the numbers correct. I am not great with math, but these numbers really jump out at you. Here you go. The senior IDF commander said that Hamas has some 7,000 rockets, as well as 300 anti-tank and 100 anti-aircraft missiles. He also said that Hamas has a number of uh, drones, and we've been talking a lot about Iran supplying its various proxies with drones over the past few weeks, right? So Hamas has a fleet of drones, also some 30,000 trained militants, and at least 400 of them are naval commandos who have, quote, received sophisticated training and equipment to carry out seaborne operations. So Hamas is no joke, folks. This is a pretty serious arsenal that they have amassed. Secondly, Palestinian Islamic Jihad, who I mentioned, the other Iranian proxy operating there in Gaza, the IDF commander also went into their capabilities. He said, and Islamic Jihad is smaller than Hamas, but still very significant and fiercely loyal to the Iranian regime and fanatical, perhaps even more fanatical than Hamas, and that is saying something. They have... 6,000 rockets, dozens of drones, and anti-tank and anti-aircraft missiles, and some 400 naval forces. So, and that doesn't give the numbers of Palestinian Islamic Jihad foot soldiers. We know Hamas, again, 30,000 foot soldiers. Add the Islamic Jihad and Hamas rocket arsenals together, that's at least 13,000 rockets at their disposal. And look, folks, some communities in southern Israel, I've been in all of them, are a mile, even less than a mile, 
from that Gaza border. It's really an eye-opener how close the enemy is, the Hamas Islamic Jihad enemy, to these peaceful Israeli communities in southern Israel. Now, the IDF commander also said that Israel has uncovered and destroyed at least 20 terror tunnels coming from Gaza uh, into southern Israel. And this really in the 2014 protective edge conflict that Israel had in the summer of 2014 with Hamas. This really came to the forefront, folks. If you remember, these terror tunnels were uncovered that Hamas has been digging diligently over the years with the goal of popping up from underground. It's like something out of a horror movie, popping up from underground in an Israeli community, kidnapping someone, smuggling them back through the tunnel into Gaza, or killing people as they pop out of these holes in the ground. Uh, so a nightmare scenario there. Thankfully, the IDF has uncovered many of these tunnels. They are 99% finished with a massive barrier uh, along the Israel-Gaza border that will stretch some 37 miles. As I mentioned, I've been along that Gaza border many, many times. All the places, most of them, that we talk about here on the Watchman newscast and the Watchman TV show. Folks, I've been there on a regular basis bringing the eyewitness on the ground view. So right now I want to go to a clip. This was from November 2018. We were in the midst of one of these Hamas rocket barrages against southern Israel. I wanted to give you a feeling for what it's really like to live in these communities in southern Israel and face this rocket threat on a daily basis. Again, 13,000 at least at Israel's doorstep in Gaza. We were in Ashkelon a few hours after a bombing that killed a man, and we were also in Stayrot. And folks, while we were there, the sirens started to go off. Take a look. And welcome to The Watchman, where I am standing right now. Just last night, less than 24 hours ago, was the scene of a Hamas rocket attack in this apartment building. One person was killed, two severely injured as Hamas escalates an onslaught, a rocket and missile barrage against the communities of southern Israel. Now, right now, folks, we are standing in Ashkelon. We're about six miles from the Gaza border. You can see the horrific damage behind me to this apartment building. Over the past 24 hours, Hamas and Palestinian Islamic Jihad, these Iran-backed terrorist organizations, have fired over 400 rockets, missiles, and mortar shells at the communities of southern Israel, not only here in Ashkelon, but Ashdod, Steyrot, the kibbutzes around southern Israel. They are facing this onslaught. Now, thankfully, Israel has Iron Dome. The anti-missile defense system has taken a lot of these rockets and missiles out of the sky. The IDF, the Israel Defense Forces, are on alert. They are ready to face down Hamas. But look, folks, this has persisted for over a decade now. Hamas continues to escalate. They're not going to change because then they wouldn't be Hamas. They're not going to lay down their arms. What's the solution long term? We don't know. But today on The Watchman, we are bringing you on the ground, breaking news perspective of the situation in southern Israel as Hamas escalates their terror war against Israel. Folks, we're at this bomb shelter in Stero. We just had an alarm go off, a siren warning that Hamas rockets were on their way. Thankfully, they did not land. But this is what the people of southern Israel and cities like Stero live with every day. You have less than 15 seconds to get to one of these bomb shelters. Our team ran in here along with several, several other people. Thankfully, it looks like the alert has passed. But this is reality here in southern Israel in Stero. Folks, to hear those sirens go off was an experience I will never forget to be there, and for a moment I had a taste of how the Israeli communities in southern Israel, how the people there live on a daily basis. Again, you have 15 seconds to get to a bomb shelter when those sirens go off. You're scooping up your children, you're running to the shelter. I experienced it, I witnessed it firsthand, folks. In that shelter, there were several little kids around us, kindergarten, first grade, second grade, with their parents, with their grandparents, people from all walks of life in that bomb shelter. 
Imagine, I'm an American, imagine if the communities in Texas or, or Minnesota to the north, imagine if on a daily basis they were barraged and bombarded with rockets and there was a need to have bomb shelters in your community because you never knew when the next siren would go off. So thanks so much for joining us here on the Watchman Newscast. Now you know. You know all about the threat from the north. We're talking about it constantly and for good reason. But now you know the threat to Israel south is severe and what happens in the Middle East does not stay in the Middle East, folks. It will affect all of us, no matter where we live. We'll see you tomorrow here in the newscast. Until then, God bless you. And remember, never hold your peace. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out the Watchman Newscast. If you enjoyed this episode and want to see more, make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, click subscribe, and tap the bell icon to turn on notifications for new Watchman Newscast episodes every weekday.